Finding the best running shoes for you can be challenging, especially if you're a beginner. When you're shopping for other kinds of shoes, you only really need to consider price, looks, and comfort. But if you're choosing the best running shoes, there are other things to think about and a lot of terminology to get your head around. To help you narrow down your choices, here are top five best running shoes of 2023 for you today. You can buy it at the link in the description below the video. Number five, Brooks Adrenaline GTS 21. Designed specifically for runners who need extra stability and support, focusing specifically on your knees, the Adrenaline GTS 21 offers comfort without compromising on stability. This is the partner shoe of the Ghost featuring soft DNA loft, plus Brooks's holistic guide rails support system. The guide rails aim to keep excessive movement in the ankle in check, providing added support and contributing to quite a dreamy experience. Everything seems to have been well designed in this shoe, and even though on paper they are the heaviest shoe in this guide, they don't feel heavy while you're moving. These are the perfect shoe for those wanting a balanced, cushioned ride with added support, who want their runs to feel smooth and soft. The upper really hugs your foot without creating hot spots, and the mesh ensures an optimum level of ventilation. Number 4. ASICS Gel Kayano 29 ASICS describes the gel, Kayano 29 as a shoe that provides a stable and energized running experience for overpronators. 29 models in, it's still innovating, so it's previous the plastic plates have been replaced with a firm Lidatrus foam for stability. The Lidatrus stability feature is designed to keep your foot from rolling too far inward. The Trustic technology, used in the middle part of the sole, gives them stability and prevents them from twisting during movement. If you have a more flat foot, you're likely to land on the outside of the heel and roll inward, transferring your weight to the inner edge. If your feet tend to be on the warmer side during your runs, the knit upper is breathable and 50% of it is made with recycled materials. There are also reflective details to improve visibility and to keep you safe if you have to run in lower light conditions. The GL Kayano 29 weighs around 10.5 ounce, while its women's counterpart at 9.5 ounce. Although not the most suited for speed work, these runners will suffice plenty for daily jogs and long distance runs. Number three. Sawsoni Endorphin Pro 3 The Sawsoni Endorphin Pro 3 is a huge improvement on the Endorphin Pro 2. The Endorphin Pro 3 sees Sawsoni completely overhaul its most popular carbon fiber road racing shoe. The brand has changed the upper and added more Power Run PB foam underfoot to completely change the ride of the shoe. It's extremely fast, yet comfortable on the run. The stack height has increased to 39.9 mm, making it just legal in the World Athletics Guidelines. Sawconi's added more Power Run PB foam to make the midsole feel much softer than previous versions of the shoe. That said, it's not overly plush, but it's comfortable and efficient, and it's easy to pick up the pace when you need to in this shoe. The upper has also been overhauled to more of a mesh. It's certainly one of the best options for tempo runs, five until 10K races, and even half marathons. You might not get the best energy returns, but thanks to its lightweight construction and bouncy foam, it's a lot of fun to run in the shoes. Number two, Hoka Rocket X2. Hoka's newest carbon fiber running shoe, the Rocket X2, has a new upper and a brand new midsole foam. The shoe has a scooped carbon fiber plate for a fast toe-off and Hoka's full Piba midsole foam. On the run, the shoe feels lighter than it is. It's extremely lightweight, and the internal cage hugs the foot tight in the shoe. The Hoka Rocket X2 uses a technical synthetic mesh. The gusseted tongue sits on top of your foot, 
and the light padding that keeps you comfortable without adding much weight. One thing to note is the shoe has unisex sizing and fits pretty snug. You don't want an awful lot of room in your racing shoes, but if you're between sizes, you might want to size up. Underfoot, the Rocket X2 feels stable and responsive. It's got a nice snap to it and a decent amount of cushion. The Piba midsole foam surrounds the carbon fiber plate. It's softer above the plate for that sink-in comfort as you pick up the pace and firmer below the plate to help your foot propel forward. Number one, New Balance Fresh Foam X1080V12. Lightweight cushioning takes center stage in the New Balance Fresh Foam 1080V12. New Balance loaded the newest 1080 with a full bed of its Fresh Foam X cushioning. The pillowy midsole provides a soft landing on pavement and buttery transition from heel to toe. The foam's bouncy response creates a fun, engaging ride that's suitable for fast paces, too. Designers created the hypo-knit upper for seamless zones of stretch and structure. The toe box uses stretchy fabric to fit a wide variety of foot shapes, while the midfoot remains static to give you a secure fit. These new balance running shoes give a whole new meaning to the perfect fit. Available in sizes 4 to 16, including half sizes, and in narrow, wide, and extra-wide options, you're bound to find a shoe that fits your foot comfortably. The New Balance Fresh Foam 1080 V12 is both comfortable and versatile. Whether you are doing speed work on the track, standing all day at work, or logging the longest run of your training cycle, the 1080 V12 can keep up. 